Hi oh, guys, Hamish here. How are you going? Um, Alright, so I'm going to dissect the uh, grumpy fish lure for you. So it's new. These grumpy fish don't come out until late October, later in the month. Um, it's the 2nd of October now. They come out around the 20th of the month. So these are going to go in stores late October. And um, basically they're the newest innovation from Globite. I'm going to take you through the four different sections. You've got the hooks. You got your dinner bells, you got your twin tail skirt, and then the phenomenal head. And there's a few features to this that no other head in the market has. The tails, the twin tails, no other slider in the market has. They either have one or the other. They don't have both. Dinner bells, vibration and scent. Uh, sorry, vibration and sound. Um, no other lure has those in the New Zealand market. Then you got your hooks with your hook flies, and they're a short, stiffer sort of a. Um, rope with the um, J2 owner hooks so yeah let's go through them you got the flies like I said hook flies creates drag which lifts up the uh, the skirt uh, the, the hooks into the skirt when it's going along so I'll get to that what way this sits and how it floats when we get to the head you got dinner bells these are sound and, and vibration can you hear that or oh, find it if you can hear that this is like a little ball bearing on each side, I guess, and they sort of go up and down, and um, they are creating sound and vibration in the water. Also, this here goes down by the hooks will be a good option because it creates a shock absorber for your knot. It looks after your knot like a shock absorber, so it protects your knots of the hooks. Then going on, you got your skirt, like I said before, twin tail. They all have these little flashy bits here for a bit of uh, attraction. However, with your drifting, Globite have your speeds covered, whether you're doing fast drift or slow. Slow, next to no drift slack tide, the straight tails, they keep you right. And then if you get over one knot, the curly tail comes into its own. So they've covered all your drifting speeds there with one tail. This is the orange and pink colour, um, and that's why the orange and pink. The, they are different colours with the different heads. And let's get to the Globite Grumpy Fish head. Now... They come in four different colours. You've got the black mumba, which is like a red and uh, black. You've got the orange and pink, which this is. As you can see clearly there, there's orange around the side, into the, um, uh, sorry, around the top, and then uh, pink around the sides. So you can clearly see that's both. And then obviously that same colour orange there, we have an orange one. And then the uh, pink colour there, a straight pink one. So they're your four colours. They come in four different weights. 60 gram, this is an 80 gram. Then you've got your 100 gram, and the bigger, 140 gram. So they are your different weights and colours and uh, sizes. Okay. Now, the great thing about this head, it's shaped like a triangle. So as it dives down, it's getting straight down to the depths of the water that you need it to be in, as you see it on your finder. Drop it straight down there, it'll head straight down. It doesn't flutter away, it just dives. It goes straight down. As you can see, it's narrow at the front, wider at the back, cuts that water, shaped like a triangle, just the way it goes. Um, gets down to those depths a lot faster. The other thing I'd like to point out with this head is it has the new Teflon plastic. So new Teflon plastic going through the lure to um, stop your abrasion on your leader. So therefore it's not going to um, fray up your leader while it slides up and down. The other thing is that now you notice it's coming out the back of the lure. Most sliders will be directly straight through the middle and the tail will be sitting underneath here bobbing up and down this way. The new grumpy fish sits horizontal. So it looks like a fish going through the water with the tail up behind it and I'll show you that soon when I lift it up even though the nylon comes out the top these things here are weighted really well okay still has the uh, let me lick my finger there get it going so it still has the flashing light which Globite is well known for okay <clears throat> looks like a stressed fish um, down the depths that's what that represents normally a fish when it's stressed it does that you get those flickering lights that's what that there is doing okay then obviously underneath this has been used, I used this the other week, <clears throat> and you can see some Procure gel still in there. But um, you can fill it up with your favourite gel, bring it out the bleed hole at the back, and you get 30 minutes, 30 minutes in a one knot current of scent. Almost looks like one of those uh, a bleeding bait fish, I guess, as it's going down and bobbing up and down, you're getting that little trail in behind it. So that's going to bring any good predatory fish in, the snapper, kingfish, um, gurnard, all those fish are going to attack that. Uh, John Dory's. Um, they're all gonna. It's gonna catch a lot of different things. Carl, you know, it's gonna do it all. 
So um, these things here, like I said, they've been tried and tested around New Zealand with a few people of the majority uh, um, testing these. And then um, they come in stores, like I said, in about three weeks' time. So let's bring it all together so they're all on. We thread the head through first. Then we put the tail on. I use the dinner bells. Use that. And then your hook's on last and you tie the knot to the hooks. The best thing about this lure here, before I pull it up, gives you options. You can change the skirt to any other colour skirt you like. You can put one of the old case lighter ones on. It doesn't really matter. It gives you the option as the angler. You can choose to put these dinner bells on. Some people will use them. Some people might think it's a sham and won't want to use them. I can tell you now, these actually bring the fish on. There's a lot of stuff online. Go and have a look. The globe white crappy fish, have a look online. There's a lot of stuff for the testers that have been catching these kingfish caught with them. Like I said, all those other fish are named. And all of them have these attached. They haven't taken them off. They've left them on and they're doing the damage. Okay, now let's put it together. So this is what it looks like. We'll put it together. Now, there's your horizontal buoyant buoyancy okay so even though the nylon's coming out straight you think of the drag it's facing it'll always face into the water the drag's going this way the current it's going to pick that up like that and that's what it's going to look like guys it's going to look like that going through the water now i don't know about you but if i was a fish i'd want to eat that you know as well as that trail coming out the bottom down here in through the skirt tailing off out the end that's that scent coming out what fish would not want to eat the grumpy lure so, in essence, you got a grumpy fish. You catch all those different species. One grumpy fish catches fish, creates, what do you think it creates, guys? One happy angler. That's what it equals, one happy angler. And that angler could be you. Okay, so I suggest to you, before you write these off and say, oh, it's got all that fancy stuff on it, which I've heard, I've heard a lot of people say that to me. All I say to them is, give it a go. Go give it a go. Don't just put it down for half an hour and if you don't get nothing, that's it. You've got to be patient with any lure fishing. You're not using bait. If you're going away like, um, like I am, away from bait, yes, you've got to be a bit more patient. But what I have noticed is that the lures bring the bigger fish in. I catch bigger fish with my lures than the small little nibbly ones that come and take those baits. Where I used to get one big fish out of 10 with the little ones that you throw back because they're just legal. These ones here, basically all of them are sort of that well-sized legal um, and that's what I want, good table eating fish. All right, so by all means, like I said, they're coming out, support your local stores. If your store says, oh, we don't sell those here, ask them why not. You can buy them online by all means. Everything you, you see in store these days, you can buy online. But why support something and then have to wait a week to get it when you can go to your local store, pick it up right there and then, and get out that afternoon or the next day and get on fishing with it. Okay, so there's a lot more um, fishing stores coming on the line with the Globite products down the Lower North Island. And I'm going around seeing those stores um, down the uh, Lower North and all the South Island region. We're getting it out there. Um, it's quite big in the Northland area. But down this way, it's sort of just starting to pick up ground now with people learning about Globite. So let's get it out there, guys. Let's talk. Get these things in action. Catch some fish. And enjoy what it's all about. And that's bringing the feedback for your family. At the end of the day, that's why we go. Making lures instead of bait brings in a bit more fun. Personally for me, I like the lures. The bait, you can sit there all day, have fish come to you, get the smaller ones, chuck half of them back, grab a feed, all good. I've made the the, the conscious decision or the, or the voice of opinion, I guess, for myself to go lure fishing. And that way I'm now actively hunting the fish. I'm enjoying my fishing a lot more whilst providing for my whanau, bringing the feed back on the table. So there it is guys, these are new grumpy fish, they're coming out in three weeks time. Obviously they have a range of other things as well, but definitely get onto these things here. These are gonna be deadly. They've already proven themselves. Have a look online, there is footage out there, and you'll see people posting pictures and videos catching on these things um, in action at the moment. I am hoping to get back out. Um, obviously the weather down, uh, you know, sort of past north where I am, south has been really crap in the last month and a bit so we're trying to get some good days out there the temperature's still only 12 degrees when i was out last time um so let's get into it get the snapper down here next couple of months he's going to pick up and let's get fishing see you on the water keep it real cheers <laughs>